The Liberty Band, Zumba, Zumba, Zumba de María. Zumbale María, Zumbale, Zumbale María, Orale María, Zumbale. <laughs> I can't see telling a woman, oye, Zumbale, Zumbale. <laughs> Maybe I should try that. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Let's go live. There we go, San Antonio's very own Liberty Band, Zumba, Zumba, Zumbale. Really, man, um, I, I, I can't, I cannot. Picture myself telling the girl, Zumbale, Zumbale, baby, Zumbale. That's not going to happen. I don't think so. Good morning, Double R Radio, Thursday morning, 7 I always forget to turn off my alerts. I don't know why I do this, but I do. Let me figure this out right here real quick. There we go. We got that, and there we go. There we go. I got that all situated. There we go. Good morning. Thursday morning. Let me do some good morning chat out here. Good morning chat. I got it to Mary. Angiano, Buenos dias, Buenos dias. Annette. Rosemary Perez, good morning. Evita Love Cadrillo, buenos dias, buenos dias. Gloria Lasoya Salgado, good morning. Rosemary Gomez, good morning, Rosemary. How we doing? Anna Medrano, good morning. Maravilla's very own Lee Roy Urbazo in La Casa, good morning, good morning, good morning. Mr. Chad Baltasar, good morning, good morning. Juan Abrego to me, good morning, good morning. Thursday morning. Um, let me see here. There we go. Good morning, dude. Good morning, Mr. Lever. You know, uh, before anything else, let me just say this. Um, Cynthia Gonzalez, Amelia, Houston, Texas. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Amelia Love, Carrillo, good morning. A um, couple of days ago, my buddy, Mr. Lee Woods, who's been in the radio business for a long, 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 long time, posted um, a movie poster about a movie. Uh, the movie is called uh, Miguel, uh, Miquel, Miquel, Michaelia, hopefully I said that right, Garcia, good morning, good morning. Anyways, um, my buddy Lee Woods posted a movie poster, and uh, the, the movie is called The Ballad of Gregorio Cortez. Now, it's a true story, it's based on a true story of, a, of a, uh, uh, an immigrant, a person from Mexico, who is uh, struggling to uh, make a living here in South Texas. Now, uh, really man, this movie was released in the year 1982. That being said, I've never seen this movie. I knew nothing about this movie. And even with Edward James almost as uh, the star of the movie, I said, I got to see this movie. So, and mind you, check this out. The movie is available on YouTube for free. I saw it on YouTube for free yesterday. And I got to tell you, man, you know, you need to see this movie. It's a very, very good movie. The movie is called The Ballad of Gregorio. Cortez. Check it out, man. You're going to like it a lot, and even more so, it's a true story, and it's based on Gregorio Cortez, and even more so, a lot of the story is based around the towns around San Antonio, Gonzalez, Uvalde, Austin, San Antonio, and so on and so on. So look, check it out, man. It's really a good movie, and for free, just look it up. The Ballad of Gregorio Cortez. It's on YouTube. Also, I posted it. I posted the link of the movie on my uh, radio station Facebook page. There we go. Good morning, John. I'm going to Angie Leal. Good morning, good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. How are we doing, Jennifer? Uh, there we go. There we go. Let's see what's going on out here in this crazy, crazy world. I stumbled across a couple of stories. I thought, why in the hell is this here? I don't want that. Get the hell away from there. Okay, let's see here. Where do I want to go first? Um, let's go here first. Check this out. I'm not going to get into all the details, but when I read the headlines to this, I said, how does this work? Check this out. San Antonio, Texas. A woman got her ex-boyfriend to kill her current boyfriend. Huh? How does this work? How does a girl who's dating a guy go back to the guy she used to date and tells him, hey, I want you to kill my boyfriend, and even more so, the ex-boyfriend goes and kills her new boyfriend. Really? <laughs> I'm not going to get into all these details, but how how does a woman talk an ex-boyfriend to kill her new boyfriend? That is really something else, man. That blew me away. It really, really did. So, a woman asked her ex-boyfriend to kill her new boyfriend. And lo and behold, he did it. He went and killed her new boyfriend. Now everybody's being arrested and let the games begin. Good morning, John. I got up to Jennifer Rivas. Mike Rodriguez, good morning. Jennifer says, I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Jennifer. Hopefully you're doing good as well. Anyways, there we have it now. Check this out. More stuff from San Antonio. Nearly one dozen customers reached out 
uh, to Pasha Mediterranean Grill. Uh, Pasha Mediterranean Grill is located on Wurzbach and I-10. Well, yeah, Wurzbach and I-10. After several, and I mean several people reported getting sick after dining at the restaurant. Mind you, Pasha is, uh, it says Mediterranean Grill, but it's Persian food, if you want to call it that. Persian food, Indian food, however you want to put it. And uh, all I'm going to say is this. I stay away from that kind of food. I'll stick to my enchiladas, mi arroz, mi frijolitos, my, you know, my, my huevos rancheros. I'll stick to that. I, don't know. I want nothing to do with this. But how bad can it be, man, when you get food poisoning, when you get sick? I mean, people were complaining that they were as they're suffering from sickness, diarrhea, um, abdominal pains, I mean, all for going out at a restaurant that didn't know how to keep their kitchen clean. Terrible, right? Good morning, shout out. There we go. Leroy says, mind control, brother. You know what, dude? Um, Leroy, I'm going to call it another thing, Leroy. I'm going to call it the power of the kitty. There you go. The power of the kitty, man. Sometimes that power of the kitty, man, can be very, very powerful. It really, really can. Good morning, John. I got out to Carlos J. Luisa Salazar. Good morning. Yvette Esquivel. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, check this out. It seems that every morning I'm doing an Uber story. Well, here's another one. There we go. An Uber driver was carjacked. <laughs> Poor Uber driver. <laughs> check this out. A couple of tourists in California were arrested uh, when they carjacked an Uber driver. Um, the duo, a 53-year-old uh, man and a 44-year-old woman, were reportedly drinking when they ordered a ride back to their San Francisco hotel room. Well, during the ride, um, uh, the man pulled the, the the Uber driver was a female. The man pulled the, the female driver's hair and ears. Uh, kind of like making the driver, the female driver, very scared. She pulled over, stopped the car, grabbed her purse, and got the hell out of the car. Leave the Uber drivers alone. <laughs> now it gets even worse. The couple then allegedly jumped into the driver's seat and drove themselves back to the hotel. <laughs> you carjacked the Uber driver, get in there, you drive off, and you drive yourself to the hotel. Police were waiting for them, and now they're arrested. There you go. Anyways, <laughs> leave the Uber drivers alone, por favor. Anyways, now here's one more. Check this out. A San Francisco gay couple are suing an airline for discrimination, saying that the airline did not want to board them because they were gay. There you go. And obviously, after when it was all said and done, uh, the couple were asked, what do you think about the airline? And the couple said, the airline sucks. And and there you have it. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Anyways, good morning, Double R Radio, Thursday morning. Now, I uh, definitely want to put the spotlight on somebody here. Um, Cindy Martinez Hernandez has been part of my radio station since day one. The radio station has been up and running for five years, give or take her a little bit. And Cindy Martinez Hernandez has been part, listening to the radio station since day one. When I first cranked it up, the first song, everything going on, she was part of it, and she's still part of it today. And I thank her so very much. Well, Cindy's celebrating her birthday today. Well, I see it only fit that I should play a birthday song for Cindy Martinez Hernandez, who's put five years into listening to my radio station. So, okay, let's go ahead and play a special song uh, for Cindy Martinez Hernandez, who's celebrating her birthday today. Um, it's actually by Johnny Crawford. I've heard this song before, but it's been a long time. And the name of the song, go figure, huh, Cindy's birthday. Happy birthday, Cindy Martinez Hernandez. There we go. How are we doing, everybody? It's the Jim Cadillo. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, meow, meow, meow. <laughs> really, man, no lie. We're off the air so we can talk here a little bit. Really, uh, I've always said the power of the kitty. You know, women, women know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. <laughs> and some kitties are better than other kitties. So it's up to the guy to figure out <laughs> which is which. Do you want curtain number one, curtain number two, or curtain number three on the power of the kitty? Well, uh, let me see here. Can I try all three of them and let you know later? No, you got to pick one. And that's our downfall. Trying to find uh, 
which is the best curtain. I'm going to put it like that. There we go. Yvette Esquivel. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me, robertrebusradio.com. Join me, robertrebusradio.com. Just click on the blue button that says mobile app. Click here. It's all free. Doesn't cost a dime. Join me now. Good morning, child. I'm going to have to Robert Duque. Good morning. Let's get back to the morning show.